Welcome, welcome to Cube. This is the um, conference cubicle we'll be using. I just want to give you a really quick tour so that you feel comfortable. Please come in in advance and make sure that you're happy with your presentation or your, your master class or your poster session. So I'll just give you a quick view so you get oriented. So um, we're using a, quite a large room. We won't need all the tables and chairs. It's a select group of decent, good people like you. Okay, so that's the, the view. Uh, important to realize once you sit down, you can only hear the people you're sitting with and also the red carpets are sound bubbles. So you'll be able to work separate from each other quite easily. Um, in the other direction is the uh, big presentation uh, screen and uh, the seating obviously down below us as well. So that gives you a, a sense of uh, the space. Um, the way it's laid out is there's a like a small discussion board here and early on we'll get people to mark where they've come from on the on, on the planet so that we can set work out how much carbon we've saved. But let me just give you like a, a quick overview of the, the spaces which we have available. So um, running along the back wall for the posters and the master classes. And just so you get a sense and make sure that your photograph is the one you want. So this is where we're up to. Uh, Jocelyn, we need a new photograph of you. Um, <laughs> and um, so you can just get a feel for everyone. Uh, there's a picture here of Nick. Ah, hi, Nicola. There you go. And all the way across, John and then Penny. So we've got some really great colleagues for you to work with. If I now swap gear and just tell you a little bit about the master classes and the workshops so you understand how those might work, um, I'll give you um, the basics first and then I'll come back and, and show you a little bit more. The basics, if you're looking for them, will be on this uh, demonstration board. There's a place here to the right called Small Demo Whiteboard. And when you arrive there, it looks like this. If you want to uh, get any closer, you need this yellow um, symbol, which is sort of above the, the space. Now, this great big head is in the way, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to push straight past. So basics, eventually you'll have to have your headset on. If you can see sound waves, they can hear you. This is the uh, -uh button. That's really useful because that's how you zap around the place and get from A to B. That's how you get stickies. They're in the bottom right-hand corner. Commenters for threads or questions while you're speaking, bottom right-hand corner. If you want to upload files, bottom left-hand corner, that's the file thing, same as Windows, private chat over here. Uh, if you can't remember what I said, I'll just briefly show you so you can read, then you've got two places to store it in your brain. So those are the basics which we're going to work on. I'm going to jump to uh, Nicola Millard's um, space just so you get a, a feel for how you might want to set up. So we're planning to have like an about me page uh, with an image. Uh, then there'll be a title page if you want us to do that. Then there are two ways in which you can uh, actually communicate in your masterclass. The two ways are on two separate tabs. You probably noticed when I clicked about me, that was orange. And I clicked title, that went orange. This is a magical whiteboard. So if you click as a slideshow, as, <laughs> as a slideshow, you get three objects. The middle one will be your slideshow. So Nicola, do you mind if I show everyone your slideshow? So you zoom in, as I said, put the mouse over it, get the little yellow pin, zoom in, and the slideshows are really simple. You literally just click the forward arrow. If you decide to use a PowerPoint, then you have to do PowerPointy things and it's a little bit more complicated. So that's the easiest way of using it, doing a slideshow. Um, if I step as backwards, and stepping backwards is backward arrow, S key, up to you. Um, to the left, there is a topic commenter. If you would like people to ask you questions as you go, you can get them to type in questions as you go into the bottom bit here. And um, you'll be able to see what questions they're asking so that you can answer them live as you go. There's obviously one comment there. And if you have a, a version of this open as well, just double click on it. You'll be able to see exactly what they want you to do. I don't know if you'll have time, but if you want to find out what they've learned, we've got a, a, a framework here, what we call a performance enhancement tool called Learn by Sharing. And you can ask them if you want to say, well, Tell me from the presentation you've just heard, and they'll use stickies, you know, bottom right-hand corner. What was your biggest surprise? What did you learn? How could you use this in the future? 
So let's assume that that's what you wanted to do, which is you wanted to set up to run a slideshow. Some of you have preferred to actually, rather than doing a masterclass and discussion, oh, by the way, we can put you also a white drawing board. So if you want to do you, to scribble and draw, rather than using a slideshow, we can do that as well. So just, just let, let Tracy know. If you're running a poster session, um, the best way is to have the slides partly covered up so you can use the sort of standard reveal method. So you'd come over here and I put stickies above things so you can just slide them out of the way or delete them as you tell the story of what you're doing uh, so people can start to understand what's going on rather than deluging them with too much data. So that's what will happen for people with poster sessions or um, who want to, to do pres um, master classes. Uh, people will be able to work here with you. If you're uh, in the mode of trying to present, uh, you, you need to get to a place called the presenter spot, which looks like this. Uh, your audience will look um, very much like um, like all the other cubots. We're not planning to use um, webcams, so people will either have a photograph of their face, they'll have their corporate badge on their chest, so you'll know where they're from, what, to, what, what you want to ask them, and so on and so forth. And that's where you can present from. If you want to get closer, the podium here, yellow pin, normal stuff, no change there. In with the yellow pin, all the presentations will be uh, placed along the bottom here. So if I, for example, picked up this one here, Daniel, do you mind if I show yours? So Daniel's presentation here. Daniel, I've been quite naughty with your presentation. I've messed it around a bit, but don't worry, it looks great. So this is the kickoff slide. Then you just, again, just click from one to the next to get a sense of what's coming up in this presentation. If you feel you, there's something you really need to point at, if you click on this little pointer icon over here, it'll flip you around and you can point on the big screen and the people who are sitting down can see you pointing at the big screen. So you you can basically do it that way uh, and that's quite effective. Uh, if you decide that you've done enough pointing at the big screen and you want to go back to presenting, I don't know if you can see, but right up here in this top corner, there's a little black sort of icony thing. And if you put your mouse over it, you, you'll see it says presenter spot. When you click on that, it'll flip you around back to your presenter spot. So that's how it's easy to point, look at your audience and so on. So final thing, a couple of hints and tips because we're in a virtual world and everything works differently here. Think of Narnia, the animals talk and so on. So hints and tips and do this and succeed. Ignore it at your own peril. First one, a quiz. Outside a fish shop, there are these words. It says fresh caught fish sold here. Which of those five words is irrelevant? Well, outside a fish shop, probably here is irrelevant. It's a shop, sold is irrelevant. You tend not to sell rotten fish, so fresh is probably irrelevant. You can't sell fish you haven't caught, so caught is irrelevant. And anyway, they can smell it. All five words are probably irrelevant. Often on our PowerPoint presentations, we put too much stuff. You haven't got a body. If you deluge people with lots and lots of, of stuff, and they don't know where to look, they will switch off within about 42 seconds. So try your best to use images, examples, jokes. If you have to use words, remember you're not walking up and down the stage waving your hands to distract, distract people from the fact that you've put too much stuff on the screen. Try and do five by five, i.e. no more than five rows and no more than five words in each um, column. Then, if you want to do your drawing like I do, we can put a whiteboard for you there so you can draw and speak rather than showing PowerPoint slides. And that, guys, is it. I'm going to stand in the middle just so you get a sense of where we are. And um, that's the door you came in through. It's me done. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.